America, and thanks for choosing a Kalefi 574 series autofill combo. This quick installation tip video will give you a general overview of what you need to know about installing the 574 series. The first thing that you should notice when you open the box is going to be the set of installation instructions. Everything you need to know about the installation of the 574 should be in here, so be sure to read it. This right here is going to be our half inch model, the 574, that is going to consist of two separate components. The first of which is going to be an ASSE 1013 approved testable reduced pressure zone backflow preventer, which protects the supply water from potential contamination by the hydronic system. The next is going to be your autofill valve, which is going to add makeup water as needed to maintain system pressure. Your half inch combo will come in NPT or press connections and it's going to be perfect for most small to medium sized systems. The backflow preventer is going to come with a discharge air gap that will need to be assembled onto the backflow. It's pretty simple to click it and install it right in place. If you do need to connect a discharge pipe, you can use a one inch PVC coupling plus one inch PVC pipe. Or you could use inch and a quarter PE 4710 black polyethylene pipe, but be sure to check your local codes. The backflow preventer also is going to have isolation ball valves on either side and these four quarter inch pressure taps across the top for testing your reduced pressure backflow preventer. The autofill is going to include the pressure adjustment dial on the very top. Out of the box it is set to 15 psi, but you can set it anywhere between 3 and 60 using a flathead screwdriver. From there, some will have the option of the pressure gauge. If you do need to install that, just make sure to use a little bit of pipe dope or Teflon tape. Our autofill will also fast fill at a rate of about 5.5 gallons per minute without having to flip any levers. When the system pressure matches the set point, it automatically stops filling and at that point it will just maintain system pressure. Now on the bottom of the autofill, there is a gray knob and this is a shutoff valve. You're going to want to backseat it or open it to allow the system to fill and maintain pressure or you can front seat it to close it and isolate. And here's going to be our 3 quarter inch model for larger systems. It will fast fill up to and over 20 gallons per minute and uses our larger commercial autofill valve. This is going to be perfect for larger systems. On this guy, the discharge air gap can accommodate a 2 inch PVC pipe or that same inch and a quarter PE 4710 black polyethylene pipe if needed. Now for proper installation, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the system is flushed and clean prior to installation. You're going to want to make sure that no debris or anything like that gets inside your backflow preventer to cause any issues. The combo must also be installed in a horizontal pipe similar to how you see it here with the backflow preventer discharge pointing downward toward the floor and the autofill knob pointing up. Since this is going to be a testable backflow preventer with the four ports on the top, you're going to want to make sure you can locate it where it's easily accessed for inspection and testing in the future and it should be installed downstream of your water meter. You're going to want to make sure that the flow goes into the backflow preventer and out of the autofill valve. Both of the components within the combo will have flow direction arrows on them. You're also going to want to make sure to follow all your local codes for installation as well. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any further questions, be sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.